Hey friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to share with you guys my experience with using the packing party method to further declutter. If you've been following along for some time now, you know that I'm on this constant journey to less stuff, decluttering and just having and owning less in a sustainable way. And it's definitely not an overnight conquer. It's not a declutter once or twice and then you're done. I do have to constantly check myself, check if I maybe have further stuff that I can declutter and just slowly but steadily reduce the number of stuff I have. I would say by now I'm pretty good with not buying stuff that I don't need. I am someone that will think about it 10 times. I will wait for a month, but I would say I've come to a point or a crossroads where I'm struggling with decluttering. So I've already decluttered the most obvious stuff that I never use and don't need, but I feel like there's just more hidden stuff that I think I need, but I would actually not even miss if it was gone. So the decluttering methods I've used up until now has been the KonMari method. So just looking at everything you have, taking things into your hand and asking yourself, do I really need this or could I live without this? Now I'm at a point now where everything that I hold, I would say, yes, I need this, but I know that I could do with less stuff. So the KonMari method has been great when it comes to the beginning of your decluttering journey, but now when it comes to the more hidden junk, it hasn't really been serving me personally. So I wanted to try a different method and approach I've never actually tried before. It's called the packing party. And now this is a term coined by the minimalists and essentially what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to pack all your belongings into boxes so as if you were moving and then when you need stuff you take stuff out of the boxes as you need them so for example if you need to brush your teeth you can go through the boxes and search your toothbrush and your toothpaste and your flossing dental floss <laughs> now i've never really tried this approach in the past just because it is such a big deal it kind of stresses me out thinking about packing all my stuff into boxes and then just living amongst boxes. It just seems too overwhelming for me, but I am going to apply this method to one specific area of my life. So I have this one specific drawer that has my product, I would say. I showed it in the room tour and there's just too much stuff. I feel like I could live with less. I It's hard to believe that I would need so many products and so many beauty self-care items. So I wanted to apply the packing party method to that drawer. So the first step was of course to get everything out of the drawer and to pack it into a box. There's so much stuff in here that this doesn't even close properly. This just shows how badly I need to declutter. Now the minimalists say to do this, I think for a month, or you could actually tailor it to your needs. Maybe if you're doing all your belongings, you could do two or three months. Um, but I started out with doing two weeks because once again, Living with my stuff in a box just seemed stressful to me for some reason So I wanted to start out with two weeks and then extend it if I felt like it made sense When the first day came around that was the day that I got out most of the stuff It was as I expected. I got out all my things that I needed on a daily basis So things like moisturizer, deodorant So I desperately need to do laundry today But first of all, I need to find the laundry detergent in the box that I packed And then as the challenge and the days went on, the number of, stu of stuff that I got out got less and less. 
So after the first week, I had gotten out 22 items. These were things that I use pretty regularly every day or every second day. Then after week two, I had gotten out an additional 11 things, so already only half. So altogether, I now had 33 items in my drawer. And then in week three, I extended it a week. I only got out two items the whole week. So this was kind of the time period where I noticed, okay, I could now end the challenge. I'm not really needing and getting stuff out of the box anymore. So my drawer now does look a little emptier. And now that three weeks are over, there is still stuff in the box. Now, I haven't looked in it for a while I've been waiting to film this video. To be honest, I don't quite remember what's in there. The only thing I remember is a shampoo bottle because I just ran out of shampoo. So I have the box now here with me. Okay, it's actually surprisingly not that much stuff in here. Now I'm not going to go through every single item that is left, but just roughly assess what I can throw out or what I can give away. Obviously, I don't need any of the stuff. I haven't missed it in three weeks. The shampoo I need right now. A bunch of other vitamins that I think I'm just going to use up, but then not to repurchase. Essential oils, one lavender and one tea tree oil that I haven't needed or used. I don't know, maybe I can gift this to someone or give it away because I definitely don't need it. Then I have a bunch of retainer cleaning tabs. I had bought this once quite a few years ago, but it was just such a big package that I still have them. And I rarely remember to use this. So I'm either going to use this up or gift this to someone else, maybe even discard it. I'm definitely not going to repurchase this. Something else I also have a bunch of is this blotting paper. I went through this phase of using quite a lot of blotting paper because I get quite oily in my T-zone, but now I don't really care about being oily anymore. If I'm oily, then I'm just oily. So maybe this is also something I can gift to someone. It's not something that I use anymore. Then I also have some popcorn kernels. We, or I actually use this quite a bit when I do movie nights with Johannes, but since he's not here anymore, I don't really do popcorn nights by myself. <laughs> but he's coming in a week, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to make us restart our popcorn movie night. So this is actually going to come in handy, just hasn't been used in the last few weeks. Then I also have a spare electrical toothbrush charger. My old electrical toothbrush broke, so I bought a new one and it just came with a new charger, but I still have my old one. So I think I'm actually going to try to sell this. I've seen people sell a bunch of th random things and spares on eBay. This is something that people tend to lose, I feel like, so maybe this is something I could sell on eBay. Surprisingly, not too much stuff left in the packing party box. I felt like I hadn't gotten out that much, so I don't really know how I feel about it at the end of this decluttering process for one there wasn't that dramatic change that I kind of hoped for, but then again, I have to keep in mind that I had already decluttered and this is kind of already the, I don't know, fourth, fifth round or so. And it's, you're not, you're just not going to get that big before and after difference as your first or second declutter. But I guess it's also a good thing that so much of the stuff that I already owned is is stuff that I use on a regular basis. So most of my things I did need in the last three weeks. So that means that I did a good job decluttering beforehand. In general, the packing party isn't so satisfying to do than the KonMari method because the KonMari method is a kind of afternoon project. You see what you want. You have the key pile, the donate pile, and it feels more satisfying and more productive. Whereas the packing party, you don't see the progress that you're making since everything is shut away in a box, but it forces you to really think about what you really need and what you don't need. And something that I personally don't really like is that it drags on for so long. So this dragged on for three weeks and as I said in the beginning, it kind of stresses me out a little bit that I have just stuff sitting in a box and it's an ongoing project that's in the back of my mind, kind of keeping me busy, but not really. So I do kind of prefer the 
KonMari method, but it is helpful for you to be really strict with yourself that you do not need this. I'd be interested to know how, if you've ever done the packing party, is it something that you found super helpful? And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out and my channel grow. I'm so thankful for all you guys that do support me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.